Hello, this is Kitties with a quick little Rec Royale tutorial. First, the essentials are your map. To grab it, you can put your hand over your back and grab your trigger in VR. In screen mode, open up your backpack and select your map. The little red arrow is you. It'll follow you as you go. Another important thing would be the chests. This is how you get your weapons and potions. To open it, hold your hand over the handle and hold the trigger. Here I've gotten a paint auto gun. Paint weapons do not need to be reloaded. This is auto ammo. Make sure to memorize the ammo types once you're familiar with them. That way, when you're playing the squads mode, you can communicate with your teammates on what you need. In Rec Royale, to get down from the gondola with all the other players, you must use the glider. These doors will open at a certain point when the music is in the middle of playing. Next most important thing are potions. Here we have a health potion. You don't need to put it to your mouth, you can actually just hold it over your head. By drinking a green one with a plus on it, you will gain health back, and if you drink one with a shield on it that's blue, you will gain shield. There are different rarities deciding how much you get. To tell a weapon's rarity, when you drop it, there'll be a little ring. Most weapons are colored with its rarity color. The rarest is yellow, while the least rare is gray. It goes from gray, to green, to blue, to purple, and finally to yellow. Some weapons, like the bow and arrow, only have three rarities, when the highest is the blue. Each type of weapon has its own class. These are both shotguns. The paintball one does not need to be loaded, while the laser one does after every three shots. Just know that they use the same type of ammo, so if you have two of them, I would recommend only having one. Quick tip, always prioritize shield over health a shield overlaps your health. Although, it still may be handy to have a health potion when the swarm comes. The swarm will appear on your map as a little circle. When it closes in, if you're in that area, you will start to take damage until we're eventually eliminated, so try and stay inside the circle. Some weapons, example, the flintlock and the bow and arrow have their own ammo, which means that whenever you pick up a new weapon, it will have full ammo. But this also means that if you have more of that weapon, whenever you use one of them, you will not lose ammo on the other. If you play in teleport, you are easily predictable when you spam your teleport. This is due to you having a delay, and others can see your line arc. So make sure to memorize the delay. It is roughly 1.5 seconds. As a walk player, you can keep moving, and you can also jump and slide. Many people might not find sliding very useful, but it allows you, if you time it correctly and move at the same time, you can sprint and slide at the same time, effectively allowing you to sprint while firing while moving backwards. This can be useful if you're trying to shoot a target while running away. One important thing that some players don't understand is that grenades and laser launchers can hurt you, even if it's from yourself. To compensate for map size, some weapons, like the paint weapons, shoot much farther than their respective game modes. It goes much, much farther, unlike normal paintball, where normally you should there I'd be aiming about up here. Sometimes, due to unforeseen circumstances, you might find yourself under the map. If so, look at your map and head to this location at Bucket Lake. Here, there are two ladders. If you're in walk mode, simply jump into it, or if you're in teleport, just teleport into it. By doing this, you can get back up into the map. If you do not want to do that, you can always head to your dorm room, the rec center, or any other room to simply leave the game. Similar to laser tag, in rec royale, if you have two weapons and you fire one, you cannot dual wield. You can also run out of ammo. Be cautious of that. If you're using a laser gun, and you keep pressing the trigger and nothing's happening, it may give you a message saying reload your weapon. Then you need to pull back the highlighted green slot of your weapon. That will reload it. As the poster says, when someone is down within the squads mode, grab their hand and hold to revive. They will be eliminated from your team, 
if you don't revive them quick enough. So be careful. When playing in the squad mode, which is also similar to laser tag, you can have little radios that you can speak with your teammates with. If I am at this area, and my teammates over here, normally we would not be able to hear each other. But using the radios, we can. Use this to coordinate with your team where you are. I would also recommend memorizing these coordinates. They can be very useful to help coordinate where you are instead of saying these names. Be on the lookout to hear other players too, which can help give away their position. Well, that's about all for this tutorial. Hope this helps.